What is going on traders? Welcome back to the Traveling Trader. Before I get into the Bitcoin market analysis today and the crypto update today, we will go over what the Fed just did. The Fed cut, ra cut rates for the first time since 2008, cut rates by a quarter of a percent in order to stimulate economic growth and stave off some of the effects of the trade war, mainly with China. Will this have an effect on Bitcoin? It certainly could in the short term because Bitcoin is obviously priced against US dollar or one of the main currencies is priced against his US dollar. And if the US dollar weakens in the short term because of this, then we could see a small uptick in Bitcoin's price. I personally don't think that there is a major correlation yet between Bitcoin and the traditional markets, but Bitcoin's perception as a store of value is certainly increasing. And I think that the effects might have a more parallel correlation as time rolls by. A couple of successful stock trades we had. We shorted Spotify yesterday after hitting this resistance and and it fell to about 140, a little under 146 before rallying again. We closed out our short for about 5% gain. UWT, which is the ETF that follows crude oil prices at a 3x margin. We saw almost an 11% gain before closing out our position with a stop limit. Disney hitting all-time highs, almost a 30% gain before closing our position out as well. We are seeing a slide in stock market prices due to obviously the, the Fed rate cut, as well as the impending or continuing trade war with China. You see the Dow down about one and a quarter percent, S&P down about 1%, NASDAQ down about 1.2%. Those don't seem like big numbers, especially if you are simply a crypto trader, but those are pretty significant declines in the stock market. We're not talking about crash level, but those are definitely notable declines and newsworthy declines. So without further ado, do let us get into our Bitcoin market analysis for today. Looking at Bitcoin, you'll see here that we are over the $10,000 mark. And I'll tell you why this isn't really that big of a deal yet. Almost a four point, almost a four and a half percent gain so far. We did have a successful trade on Bitcoin Cash after it's been riding this uh, support line of this uh, uh, broadening wedge, this ascending broadening wedge. It is finding some resistance here at the 21 EMA, this white line, as is most other cryptocurrency coins and the, the total cryptocurrency market cap. By the way, if you want access to the trade alerts, link is in the description. The Diamond Traders and above gives you access to the stock trade alerts as well as crypto. And you also are entered automatically into the 0 0.03 Bitcoin drawing that I do every month. So sign up, link is in the description. Let us take a look at the total crypto market cap. You'll see that we are also on this hitting a, the 21 EMA on the total crypto market cap, again, this white line. And the total crypto market cap is forming a bear flag currently. It is holding up nicely on the 100 moving average, this yellow line, but it is being squeezed in between the 100 and the 21 EMA and will be forced to make a decision either above the 21 EMA or below the 100 MA soon. I personally think that we will continue to see a roadblock at the 21 EMA for a few reasons. Well, for one, if you look at the cryptocurrency market cap, it's been over the 21 EMA for so long. So a regression to the mean is, is natural, right? Like we haven't been significantly under the 21 EMA since December, 2018, the stretch here. Other than that, we've really been riding the line or have been significantly above it. And we dropped below it in this month in July. <clears throat> and there are really bearish patterns all around, whether we're talking about the total crypto market cap or Bitcoin itself. Now there is this sort of chicken or the egg effect when it comes to crypto and Bitcoin, like does Bitcoin drive the total cryptocurrency market cap? Does the total crypto market cap drive Bitcoin? Do certain alts like BCH and, and LTC, when they move independently at times, do they then drag Bitcoin behind them or does Bitcoin drag them? And while I do think that Bitcoin largely dictates the market, you do have these blips where there are other coins that might pull Bitcoin or dictate Bitcoin or where the total crypto market cap might dictate what happens to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, those are just anecdotal observations from, from history. But if you take a look at Bitcoin, here's why I think that there is potentially more downside to come, aside from the fact that we are over $10,000 today. 
for one, again, I, I talked about the 21 EMA. Well, that the 21 EMA on the total crypto market cap looks very much like the 21 EMA on Bitcoin. And you'll see that we are hitting a wall here. Now, if you look at the weekly on Bitcoin, here is where things get interesting. Uh, if you've been following these videos for a while, you know that I, th I identified a heavy resistance line on Bitcoin going all the way back really to November 2017. We saw this resistance, broke through it, obviously hit that, that famous 20K, came back down and we tested this resistance seven weeks in a row before failing to cross above it and seeing a heavy rejection that took us all the way down to around 3,200, just shy of that in December 2018. And once we hit that same exact resistance, the line hasn't changed the line is still there. Once we hit that same exact resistance, we are now seeing a heavy, well, a, a potentially heavy rejection from here. Now, here's why I think that there's more downside. I did measure the, the number of days that Bitcoin has spent above the 21 EMA without retesting it. And if we go another week here, if we go another week without retesting the 21 EMA, we will have tied the longest streak in Bitcoin. Bitcoin's history without testing the 21 EMA. So I know that we don't need to follow history exactly to the T and the market continues to roll out firsts, right? Firsts of many. And in this case, it could be a first a first time that, that Bitcoin does extend for weeks or even months before retesting the, the 21 EMA. But as technical analysts, we have to be prepared for what is the most likely scenario and also have a reaction prepared for the scenario that we don't expect, right? What uh, author Nassim Tlaib calls a black swan event. So in this case, I do think that we eventually have to retest the 21 EMA on the weekly. And I'm not saying that we have to go below it, but at least just a bounce off of it. It just makes sense from a market standpoint, from a market cycle standpoint. Now, what could happen is we could continue to trade within this tight range in this you know consolidating range here for a few more weeks which would in turn bring up this 21 ema slightly so that when we do go back to, to retest it we, you know we might hit the it might be at the 9,000 level because currently the 21 ema is around just shy of 8300 anyway it is highly unlikely that that we continue for weeks on end without retesting this so whether it's just a one week wick down to the 21 ema and back up whether we we consolidate and make higher lows while still maintaining this resistance thereby increasing the 21 EMA slightly and then going back to retest it once it's you know around 8800 or 9k who knows either way I don't think we're out of the woods just yet and I think that it will take quite a bit of momentum and volume to push past this resistance level eventually but in the long run, that is what you want. You want to break these levels gradually because when we did cross, when we went from 10K to 20K and happened in a period of 14 days, and even crypto enthusiasts were in disbelief that the price of Bitcoin was at 20K. Nobody believed that it should be at 20K because it seemed like an outlier. It happened so quick that it seemed like a blip on the radar. And the perception was that Bitcoin had no business being at 20K. So what you want is you want to see it gradually increase because the longer it spends in these five digit price levels, the more believable it will be to the market, right? The more confident the market will be in Bitcoin's price discovery at these levels. So in summary, because I did talk your fucking ear off, <laughs> I do think that that Bitcoin will still hit a roadblock here on at the 21 EMA. This is now on the daily. And I do think that we will go back to retest the 21 week EMA at some point. I do have buys set up on Bitcoin at key levels. If you want access to those and to the trade alerts, that link is in the description. Lastly, I'll say that on the one day there, there is a confluence of bearish short-term indicators, right? You have the double top, that is a bearish pattern. You have the bear flag, another bearish pattern, confirmed with a downside break, that is a bearish pattern. And then now we are forming a descending triangle, right? Making lower highs and maintaining the support at around where you see this this yellow rectangle here right this is a descending triangle it's a continuation pattern a continuation of what a continuation of this downtrend that you see here right so that's what that that is the characteristic of a continuation pattern you have a downtrend 
you have, sorry, you have a downtrend and then it continues for some time. And then the expected break from the continuation pattern is a, a basically a continuation of that trend. So by my estimation, everything points to potentially more downside on Bitcoin. Now, obviously the market is the market and we could have a situation where these bearish patterns are disconfirmed or denied, right? And you could see a break to the upside. There's, there's potentially a large number of shorts that are sitting at these key resistance levels. And you could see a short squeeze effect that would propel, give Bitcoin the volume necessary to propel it past uh, these certain levels. And we could hit resistance again at around 13K. We're not fortune tellers. But the more plausible scenario is not that. I will say that if we do hit the downside, the fact that the MACD is at this level, the fact that the RSI is at a level that it historically bounces from, right? You see the RSI going all the way back to December 2018, that, you know, it is almost at this level that it normally bounces from. Given that, if we do see a downside break, I don't think it'll be that drastic. I think we get to, you know, the 8,500 level, which is the 100 MA and the 0.5 FIB level. At worst, we get to the uh, 21 EMA on the weekly before seeing a bounce back up. Anyway, if you need help with technical analysis, if you're having trouble with charts, or if you just want to take your level, your trading level, your trading to the next level, the one-on-ones, I have one more spot. The, I had two as of this week, one of them already filled up. So I only have one more spot for August. You get three one-on-one -on -one video sessions with me. That link is in the description. It's the Centurion level. Sign up if you want some one on one time with me you can ask me it's an open forum it's very much an open forum you can ask questions you can share your screen go over charts i'll critique your technical analysis if you have any questions on indicators on portfolios on trade management etc that is all those are, those topics are all on the table leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell also let me know in the comments section below what do you think about bitcoin's imminent price do you think we're heading we're headed for more downside action do you think the weakening of the dollar is going to completely propel bitcoin to to blast past this uh, very much needed resistance level here let me know in the comment section below anyway traders stay safe out there peace